TEDx U Hasselt is an independently organized TED event. The place where you can learn about cutting edge ideas and meet with interesting people. Today we run five transit shelter homes to give the victims of child labor and child trafficking a new chance of life through their dreams. The idea which I'm going to talk about is about the enhanced land for mining and it will transform a problem being creating too much waste into an opportunity is to recuperate resources, materials as well as energy from all the waste which we landfill uh, all the time. I explained to her that my work is about making sure that when she has my age that she will live in a world which is as good as it is today or preferably even a lot better. Today the TEDx U Hassel audience will learn about my experience with following my gut and how that's led me to connect social gaming and micro lending in a way that I hope can really impact the lives of women in Africa in a positive way. What we found is that the data indicates that if there's social good in a game, somebody that's never spent a dollar in that game before is 58% more likely to make that first purchase. So people want to contribute to social good in games. We just have to give them an easy opportunity to do so. During the break, several uh, young people showcased what they're doing right now and, and, and the things they're the innovative things that they're doing actually. So I, for example, show my uh, research that I'm doing here at U Hustle, and it was really interesting to see all that. Yeah. The TEDxU Hasselt uh, audience will learn from me that uh, being funny is a state of mind that enables you to be really apt for innovative ideas. So in forging your comic, comic comedian's potential, your comic potential, you can be uh, uh, a real innovator. And from that body of work from Jewish culture and from my own experience, I derived a three-step method to train your own comedy reflex because it is important to originate new creative ideas. And so you had very ad hoc, strange websites being put out by people who had their own ideas about what they wanted to see out there. I, on this stage, or you in the audience, or anyone out there, could now take out an iPhone or, or another smartphone or a tablet and be in instant contact with someone a world away or send out a tweet that gets read by hundreds of people all over the world. Uh, so what I'm really hoping is that the TEDx Hasselt audience will take away from my talk today is going to be all about the senses and how uh, understanding how the connections between the senses uh, by knowing about those, you can change people's experience in whatever trade or business you happen to have. That could be in terms of enhancing pleasure in terms of products through the senses, or if you're working in the health sector, it could be in terms of reducing the pain uh, instead. Get a butcher's tongue, take it home, build yourself a little box, um, and get your friends to stick their tongue out, like so, uh, and make a little mirror so that they can see the butcher's tongue loitering a little bit ahead of them. They get two clean Q-tips, and stroke your friend's tongue, and then at the same time stroke the butcher's tongue. And again, within a few seconds, many people get a very strange sensation that their tongue is no longer in their mouth, but out there where the butcher's tongue is. I'm really meeting uh, lots of interesting people here at uh, TEDxU Hasselt. Uh, I really like all the networking uh, opportunities that the team uh, has set up. Uh, it's really interesting. The most important thing about TEDx is the contrast, the gap in between uh, the different points of view. The most important thing I learned today was not to worry too much and just follow your guts. TEDxU Hasselt today was extremely nice. We had 600 attendees. We had 15 speakers from all over the world. It was really, really nice. 
Um, I really remember all the speakers and uh, that I always have to take all the chances that I get and that it's not easy to speak in front of a lot of people because I had a chance to go on stage and talk about uh, my idea that I want to develop and uh, yeah, that I want to come back next year or the year after when it uh, gets organized again. Take it out.